One of the uh, traditional oriental medical art forms that I do here at my office is traditional pulse diagnosis. It's actually something that I specialize in. There's two different ones that I do. I do the neoclassical pulse diagnosis as taught by Will Morris. And then I also do an acupressure-like style, which is uh, called Jinshin Jutsu. Pulse diagnosis is a very valuable tool and it's a lifelong uh, study. When I listen to the pulse, I'm uh, listening to almost like a reflexology of the body. I'm listening to the upper, middle, and lower parts of the body. And when I speak to you, I usually speak in this sense very generally because pulse diagnosis is very subjective. As I go in and listen, I just I go in with the idea not to say that, oh, what's wrong? It's more like, what is the body's harmony? Like, what can I help you with? And typically, if you're coming at it from that point of view, the body will tell you right away what, may, what might be going on. And so it's not something that's like a diagnosis for life, but it's just what we're hearing right now in this moment. And that's the best part about uh, oriental pulse diagnosis is that it's a live treatment in this moment right now. For sure, there's been points and specific treatments that have been created by uh, community uh, agreements and uh, elections and what have you by uh, the Chinese that have been worked for centuries. But if I can listen to what's happening in this exact moment, so as I hear right now, I'm hearing more of a waistline type pulse. So you can come right over and start to specifically touch that area and notice uh, specifically, is there something going on in this hip flexor and the muscle there? Or I might go in more specifically and listen to the organs itself and listen to, oh, what's the large intestine? So then I might comment and ask the patient, hey, how has your bowel movements been or, or what have you? Some of the other more specific things we can do is listen to the circadian pattern, which is uh, the relationship of this person here on earth with the earth going around the sun. So it's the circadian clock, the 24 hour clock. And some people might say, oh yeah, I always wake up between one to three in the morning. And we know through uh, Chinese medicine, that's a time of the liver. So when I'm listening specifically to the pulse, I can uh, find that and validate that, that if that is the case. Also, there's uh, the person's relationship, not just with uh, here on earth with the sun, but there's another one called the Wei Qi uh, night cycle, which relates to uh, this gentleman's uh, positioning with the solar system. And so that will help in relation to his immune system as well. So you can go specifically to specific organs, listening to the heart. You can listen to specific patterns. Um, it goes on and on and on where it goes from uh, uh, getting information to treat the physical body, to treat the emotional body, and or the spiritual body. The idea is that we're listening to what the body has to say and the body's telling us and trusting us what's going on so that we can balance it. Once I've listened to the pulse and determined what it is that I want to do, I will apply acupuncture needles uh, and or if it's a Jinshin Jutsu pulse, it's a little bit lower, then I'll, I'll do specific flows. And it's not like I've listened to it once. I will continue to listen to, to the pulse throughout the treatment to make little corrections here or there to make it a very customized subjective treatment.